Since removing the Confederate monument from Hemming Plaza in downtown Jacksonville and promising to address racial disparity, Mayor Lenny Curry's staff tells us his inbox has gotten thousands of emails. The latest letter is from what's called 107 or rather 107 Jacksonville College professors and they are demanding change. On your side's Ken Amaral tonight looks a li at a list of what they would like to see happen in Jacksonville. Mayor Lenny Curry's decision to remove Confederate monuments like the one behind me is being seen as a bold step, but not without backlash and not without support. Now more than 100 college professors have sent them a letter demanding more. I understand the anger and frustration, okay? Since his part in this peaceful protest and promise to address racial disparity, the mayor's staff told me he has received thousands of emails. The letter that went to Curry had 107 signers. 107 college and university professors demanding change. And this is evidence of a movement. Dr. John Woodward, faculty senate president at FSCJ, is one of the signers. And we need to move past that. We need to get systems that are actually objective and are oriented towards helping communities. The letter to the mayor lists four imperatives. One, get citizens on police oversight boards to make change. Democratize the police to include a citizen oversight committee. Two, demilitarize police departments with combat equipment from the federal 1033 program. Our fellow citizens are not enemies on the battlefield. Three, criminal justice reform including blind charging where a person's race is removed from police reports. So that it completely removes the, even any other subconscious sort of uh, racial biases that one may have when it comes to prosecuting crimes. Four, addressing PTSD in policing. And we feel that it's necessary to have mandatory therapy sessions for police officers who have been involved in violent confrontations and also that 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 offer extends into the community. That the mayor's staff told me that he wants every voice to be heard and he will be reviewing the letter from the professors as soon as possible. Canamero, Frescos News, on your side.